Hello everyone, welcome to the daily newspaper analysis brought to you by Shankar IS Academy. Today, 8th November 2024. Displayed here are the articles that we are going to discuss. The first article, Brazil's Amazon deforestation down to lowest in 9 years. This article is talking about a 30% reduction in the deforestation in Amazon forests and this is due to various steps taken by the present Brazilian government and we will be discussing this in this article and this article is taken from the newspaper the Hindu and the second article is about the solar alliance stock take the solar alliance stock take is an evaluatory mechanism of international solar alliance which uh, evaluates the progress uh, take uh, in the initial uh, progress of initiatives taken by international solar alliance since its launch in 2015 and this article we will be discussing the International Solar Alliance, its objective, the role of India in the International Solar Alliance and the recent findings of the Solar Alliance stock take. And this article is taken from the newspaper Indian Express. And the third article in Haryana, two villages battle disease disruption and this is due to the ongoing mining and stone crushing activities. And this article is talking about the present health issues and environmental issues faced by the two villages in Haryana due to the ongoing mining and stone crushing activities. They approached uh, authorities but uh, it did not bring a long lasting solution and we will be discussing in this article the different types of mining and the uh, impact of mining in ecosystem human life and the net results of it and this article is taken from the newspaper indian express before moving into today's newspaper discussion we have an important announcement from shankar IS academy we know that the prelims are getting tougher every year so solving as much as questions is the only way to crack the prelims so for that the Shankar IAS Academy has launched a pre-storming UPSC prelims test series 2025 and two batches has already started and the third batch will be starting on 21st November 2024. The link for the registration will be given in the description. Do register, attend test and crack the prelims. With this, we will move to our today's newspaper discussion. Look at this newspaper article taken from Indian Express, Solar Alliance Top Tech. This article is talking about the progress of International Solar Alliance since its launch in 2015. International Solar Alliance is a coalition of different nations and at present more than 110 uh, countries are signatories to this framework and they are together committed to promotion of solar energy. The ultimate goal is reduction of the fossil fuel dependence. But recently Solar Alliance stock take that is an evaluatory mechanism of International Solar Alliance which studies the progress of the initiatives taken by the International Solar Alliance since 2015 and this International Solar Alliance stock take found that there is a shortfall in, a, in the ambitious goals of International Solar Alliance and it also found a certain other issues such as regulatory barriers, lack of infrastructure and also Chinese dominance in the solar energy capacity building. So, let us discuss more about this in this background. First, we will start with the basic question, what is International Solar Alliance? Like I said, it is a coalition of different countries which is together committed to the development of or the promotion of solar energy and this framework was launched in 2015 in the COP21 that was held in Paris. So, this is very important we have to note because frequently it will be asked in UPSC prelims because it has been almost 10 years. So, next year in 2025 we can expect questions related to COP21 and ultimate objective is to promote the solar energy particularly the utilization of solar energy in the countries which is lying between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn because these nations will receive immense energy from the sun. And at present, like I said, more than 110 countries are signatories to this framework and most of the countries are from Global South. Coming to the objectives and initiatives of the International Solar Alliance, the major objective is to facilitate the solar energy deployment, particularly in the developing and low income countries. And second one is reducing cost through promoting mini grade solar energy and also uh, promote uh, through promoting uh, rooftop solar insulation and the next objective is to improve access to the solar energy particularly in the remote areas as well as implementation of the solar energy in critical infrastructure hospitals and also in schools moving on now we are going to see the key initiatives of the international solar alliance the first major initiative is affordable solar power financing that is providing infrastructure support and funding to develop and implement the solar power particularly in the middle income and low income nation and second one is mini grid and rooftop installation promotion so this will be very useful for households as well as to you know to uh, provide access to the solar energy even in the remote areas and the next initiative is solar application for agriculture so this will save the income for the uh, farmers at the same time it will also reduce pollution from the agrarian sector and the next initiative is scaling up the solar energy in health and education and other key infrastructure. Definitely this will lead to 
improved accessibility to the solar energy in critical infrastructure and other basic infrastructures. So, overall, if the objectives are achieved, definitely it will lead to a major step in the sustainable development goals. Moving on, now we are going to see the importance of the Solar Alliance stock take. So, in the beginning itself, I said Solar Alliance stock take means it is an evaluatory mechanism of International Solar Alliance, which studies the progress of International Solar Alliance initiative since its beginning in the 2015 COP21. So, this records the, eval uh, the progress of the solar initiatives and it identifies key challenges and it identified certain key challenges such as the Chinese dominance in the solar capacity building and at the same time lack of infrastructure development in the low income countries and uh, you know uh, funding issues and other regulatory barriers. And therefore, the International Solar Alliance stock take called for a balanced approach that is the planned distribution of solar energy across the world. Now, we are going to see the role of India in the International Solar Alliance. So, in the beginning itself, I said India along with the host France and other countries launched the International Solar Alliance. Therefore, India is a founding member and a leader in of the International Solar Alliance. And this shows India's commitment to climate change and at the same time, it shows our, our steps achieve our nationally determined goal that is net zero 2070. And uh, in International Solar Alliance, India will India is also promoting solar energy projects across the world under the program One Sun, One World, One Grid. And through this program, India is supporting the in grid, supporting the solar power grid integration across the countries. And we can be also be a good role model to the world that is through demonstrating successful projects. We can be a good role model to other countries. For example, Badla Solar National Park. For example, Badla Solar Park in Rajasthan, which shows India's commitment to the promotion of solar energy and sustainable developments. So, in this topic, we discussed what is International Solar Alliance, its basic ideas, and what is the role of India in the International Solar Alliance, and what is the founding of the Solar Alliance stock take, and what is Solar Alliance stock take. So, in this background, try to answer this prelims practice question. The question is, with reference to the International Solar Alliance, consider the following statements. International Solar Alliance was launched at 2015 UN Climate Change Conference, that is COP21 in Paris. Statement 2, only countries located between Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn are eligible to join International Solar Alliance as members. Statement 3, International Solar Alliance aims to facilitate the large scale deployment of solar energy and make it affordable. Which of the following statements given above is or are correct? Definitely the answer will be option B, 1 and 2, 3 only. Statement 2 goes wrong. Every country with, which are committed to, to achieve the sustainable development goals through promoting solar energy or willing to promote the solar energy are welcoming, are free to join the International Solar Alliance. So, therefore, there is no criteria for that only nations, uh, you know, between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn are eligible for International Solar Alliance. So, there is no such criteria. So, the statement 2 goes wrong here. Statement 1 and statement 3 are the correct answer. So, let us check the answer. Yes, the answer is option B. So, with this, we will move to our next topic. Look at this newspaper article. In Haryana, two villages battle disease, disruption of livelihood, the reason are mining and stone crushing. So, this article is talking about the present problem faced by the villagers in Sarkidari is Ramlawas in Haryana and other another village is Katawali Ahir in Mahindragad. So, these two villages are facing problem for a very long time due to the ongoing mining and stone crushing activities and they are facing environmental as well as health issues and the villagers approached the local authority before some time but that did not bring any solution and they even approached the National Green Tribunal before but that also failed to bring a lasting solution for this problem. So, let us discuss more about the mining and its impact in this background from the prelims point of view. So, before moving into the types of mining, we have to understand what is mining. Mining is a process of extracting minerals from the earth's surface using various techniques and that is mainly used for you know extracting fossil fuels, gold and other minerals like that and also metals. There are different types of mining pro process for different purposes. The first one is surface mining which is commonly used to extract minerals which are located close to the earth's surface and second we have the marine mining from the name itself we know that that is extraction of minerals and metals from the ocean floor it is particularly used for extraction of diamonds and polymetallic nodules 
and the third we have the underground mining this type of mining is mainly used to extract minerals which are located deep in in the earth surface that is mainly used for extraction of gold at the same time coal and diamond and then we have the placer mining from the name itself we can identify it is used for the extraction of gold from the river beds and a river stream so these are the different types of mining now we are going to see the impact of the prolonged mining the first major impact will be deforestation for mining purpose especially for surface mining we have to uh, clear large uh, area of forest definitely it will lead to deforestation and once deforestation happens it will uh, result in a loss of biodiversity and increased release of greenhouse effect and uh, disrupted water cycle and it will also lead to agricultural impact so it will also lead to reduced agricultural productivity we know that once the uh, forest are cleared then the uh, the uh, erosion rapid erosion will happen once the rapid erosion happens definitely the soil will lose its fertility and eventually the soil become fragile and the fragility of the soil will be will make the region more vulnerable to natural disasters like landslide and flash flood and at the same time if you clear the forest definitely uh, the it will it will affect the flora and fauna which are depending on the forest for a very long time for their food and shelter and the forest we we also know the forest will act as the you know as the, act as an instrument that captures the greenhouse gases once we lost the forest definitely we will lose the capacity to capture the greenhouse gas and it will lead to bigger problems such as accelerated climate change and the best example of the deforestation is the the deforestation happened in amazon rainforest for the illegal gold mining and the second impact will be soil erosion and sedimentation we know that for mining activities once you uh, remove the vegetation of that region it will lead to reduced soil fertility and sedimentation and it, it will also affect the water quality of that region because the mining activities will it will uh, you know it will dispose certain harmful chemicals and substances in the uh, in the nearby water bodies and it will affect the water quality and also it will disrupt the aquatic life for example the marble and the limestone mining in aravalli hills resulted into large quantity of soil erosion and loss of vegetation and the next impact will be water pollution like i said the mining activity will uh, release certain toxic chemicals to the nearby water bodies uh, for example the cyanide which is used for gold mining will affect the nearby water body and it will affect the aquatic ecosystem and in in the end it will also impact the human health because the, the communities which are depending on the water bodies for their daily life will also be affected and the next uh, uh, impact will be air pollution we know that the mines are also considered as carbon sink therefore once you disrupt or uh, disturb the mines definitely it will reduce it will release harmful gases and uh, dust particles such as carbon dioxide sulfur oxide methane and all this will uh, cause it respiratory issues to the human life and it will result in global warming and it will also reduce the quality of life of the communities located near to the mines for example the coal fire in the jaria coal mine is affecting the uh, community life in the nearby area and it will also contribute it is also contributing to increased pollution in that particular region and then we have the loss of biodiversity in the beginning itself we said the the habitation will be destructed once you disturb the natural ecosystem for mining activities and it will result in species extinction reduced genetic diversity for example the bauxite mining in western ghats resulted into large scale destruction of biodiversity so in this topic we discussed what are the different types of mining and what will be the impact of mining and in this background try to answer this prelims practice question which of the following types of mining is like is most likely to cause severe environmental degradation by directly dumping waste materials into nearby rivers or valleys option a open pit mining option b mountain top removal mining option c placer mining and option d solution mining the correct answer is option a one and two only open mining and mountain top removal mining yes the answer is option a so with this we will move to the next article look at this newspaper article taken from the hindu brazil's amazon deforestation down to lowest in nine years that is the studies found that since 2023 august there is a 30 percentage reduction in the deforestation in amazon forest and this is lowest in the last nine years and this shows the effectiveness of certain steps 
taken by the present Brazilian government and the present Brazilian government is also looking to achieve zero illegal mining or zero illegal deforestation in the Amazon by 2030. So, let us discuss the importance of Amazon forest and uh, the steps taken by the Brazilian government to reduce the deforestation in this background. First, you are going to see the importance of Amazon forest. It acts as a carbon sink. That is, the forest will absorb the greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide. Therefore, it will reduce the, the impact of ongoing climate change. And second one is, it is supports large quantity of biodiversity. We know that Amazon forest is lying in the tropical zone. Therefore, it supports diverse flora and fauna. That is, at present, the Amazon is hosting 10% of world's unique species. And the third major role of Amazon is climate regulation. That is, through absorbing, through acting as a carbon sink, through supporting biodiversity and through producing vast amount of water vapor and gi through giving rainfall, the Amazon forest not only supporting the, the climate of South America, it also supports the climate of globe. And the next one is indigenous livelihood. Yes, the Amazon forest supports the cultural, economic and spiritual needs of many indigenous communities inhabiting in Amazon uh, for uh, Amazon basin. We know that it is home to several tribal communities such as Ava, you know, Kayapo and uh, Yanomamiano. So, these communities are directly depending or or we can say 80 percentage they are depending in the forest for their spiritual, economic and cultural needs. This Amazon forest supports that. And regarding this Amazon forest, we have to understand an in interesting fact that is, uh, do you know there is a relation between uh, Amazon forest and the Sahara desert and we know Amazon forest is located in the South American continent and Sahara is located in the African continent, but still they are related because Am the lois, the fine particles from Sahara supports the diversity of Amazon forest. So, we know that once you disturb the Sahara forest, definitely it will impact the Amazon. So, this is how the ecosystem are interconnected. So, just an interesting fact, I am sharing this. So, with this, we will move to the uh, steps taken by the Brazilian government to reduce the uh, deforestation in the Amazon forest. So, steps take the reasons behind the reduced deforestation in Brazil between 2023-24. The first major step is strengthening environmental agencies. The Brazilian government supported in uh, agencies such as Brazilian Institute of Environmental, such as Brazilian Institute of Environment through providing more fund and through more appointment. And the second is using satellite monitoring that is enhanced satellite monitoring. This will provide real time information regarding illegal activities happening in the Amazon forest. And this is and the National Space Research Institute is responsible for the real time sa satellite monitoring. And the second and the third one is zero deforestation target. In the beginning itself, I said the present government is aiming to end the illegal deforestation completely by 2030. And the next step is protecting the indigenous communities inhabiting in the Amazon basin. That is through providing more protection related to land. And this will reduce the agricultural and that is this will reduce uh, clearing of lands for agriculture purpose and other uh, less environment friendly activities happening in the Amazon forest. And above all, the, the Brazil is also joining hands with other nations so, through, in, through international cooperation for better protection of Amazon. For example, at present, the Brazil is uh, cooperating with Norway and other nations like Germany for uh, uh, funding and other infrastructure support to, uh, to protect the Amazon. So, these are the steps taken by the Brazilian government to reduce the deforestation in Brazil, uh, reduce the deforestation in Amazon in Brazil between 23-24. So, in this chap in this topic, we discussed uh, the importance of Amazon forest and uh, the reasons or the initiatives taken by the Brazilian government to support the Amazon forest. So, with this idea, try to answer this prelims practice question. The question is, tropical rainforests are known for which of the following features? Option A, layers of vegetation such as canopy and, and understory. Statement 2, high annual rainfall and temperature. Statement 3, nutrient rich soil suitable for agriculture. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 and 3 only. Option C, 1 and 3 only. And option D, 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option A, 1 and 2 only. The Amazon, even though it is rich in biodiversity, it is rich, it, it is rich in rainfall and uh, temperature, still the soil of Amazon is not relatively suitable 
or uh, nutrient rich to support agriculture because of the increased water runoff the increased rainfall will result in increased water runoff therefore it will wash away certain important uh, minerals which are suitable for agriculture such as potash uh, potassium and all this will make the soil less suitable for agriculture and there are other reasons such as rapid uh, nutrient cycle and and also the fast uh, decay or the rapid decay of the flora and fauna this contribute to less nutrition uh, in the soil of amazon so these are the reasons behind the the less nutrition in the amazon soil so the statement three is incorrect statement one and two are correct yes the Amazon la layers of vegetation such as canopy and story we can see this in Amazon forest and Amazon forest it is it is located in the tropical region therefore it will receive high rainfall and it will have high, te high temperature so statement 1 and 2 are correct with this we are coming to the conclusion for today's newspaper analysis if you like the video hit the like button and give your feedbacks as comments and share this content with your friends and before leaving this channel don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to receive on time update thank you have a nice day take care of yourself